And your she, like, warning, your warning starts her. now. So right. where, do, so where do we find you guys in the beginning of the season after what Oliver did uh, in, in the season finale? Sad, lost, hungry. Yeah, uh, searching for the meaning of life. Yeah. You know. Uh, in the middle of Tokyo, hot yeah. in a windstorm. Yeah. And the windstorm's filled with sand as well, so I might as well call it a sandstorm. Yeah, it's almost like we're in the desert in yeah. the middle of the city. That's right. <laughs> So I hope that answers your question. Oh. <laughs> and I don't know the whole season. <laughs> a lot of spoilers in this chat. A lot of spoilers. You gotta decipher them though. We just dropped so oh, many different okay. I like to do interviews like it's three truths and a lie. Yeah. I like, like to all do the three truths lies sound truth. like lies. <laughs> well, here are some, some truths and lies though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. First. <laughs> Do we say what the truths are? No, no we have to say that. That's can. not how yes, it works. Yes, you can. That's not, how it works. That's not how the game works. You'll catch on. Yeah. Um, Cher and Meryl make a guest star appearance in the first episode of Arrow Season 7. Yeah. Stephen uh, Amell also makes a guest star appearance in the first episode of Season 7. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Amell has a beer gut and will be shirtless for the entire... Seven. And the last one was the truth one, I think. <laughs> we'll all be sure though, so it's in our riders, it's in our contracts now. So yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well this is in um with with all of the with Lizzie's and take sort of like Irish on the flash and become the de facto leader. Yeah, I mean I, I would I would presume so when it comes to that was our boss. That was my boss, yeah. Oh, did I say anything wrong? Um, ooh, that was hard. Now we can uh, relax. Yeah, now we can finally. Okay, here we are, guys. Um, she will. And if she can, you know, I think, like, if she can call Iris for tips, I think that would be a really cool thing to do. I think that the two of them should work together more. The fact that we live in separate worlds and pretend they're only one world for one episode of the year is very strange to me. Um, they should call more, and there should be more crossovers that aren't the one crossovers. Just a crossover full of game night. Yeah. yeah but, like, everyone should just come over and play a game, yeah. have fun. Yeah. Just take the most micro <laughs> aspects of life, this. right? Yes. yes. I want to see them eat pizza. It be like rush their Brush their teeth. Yeah. Yeah. A whole hour just of people brushing their teeth. Their teeth. <laughs> I mean, I'd be fascinated. It'd be great. Well, of course, flossing and no, listerine would be in there too. Of course, you don't need to floss. All you're gonna do is floss. <laughs> but the, the dentist said you need to floss. No, man, I've never had a caffeine. Okay, well, well you heard it here. <laughs> is that Canadian water? Oh, well, yeah, the West Coast water. The West Coast, yeah, in general, the, yeah. Like the in coast, which is nothing. The inland. The inlands. <laughs> the in coast is very yeah. hard to yeah. describe. Yeah. Very... <laughs> what coast are you from? The inner one. I like the outer one. Sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> So, how has Leslie been uh, as a mother with William now with Oliver being president? Yeah, I got this. Uh, you know, she's been <laughs> very delicate with him initially, but if he spouts out of the mouth too much, she will yell at him. I just I'd, want to say I'd that. like to reiterate a point that if Leslie had actually burst William, she mm. would have been twice. That's true. <laughs> so, I, feel, true. I, do, I do feel like she has stepped up to the role as a mother, but only because she's just, I, but I think too, as a friend, I mean, the kid isn't so much a kid, I mean, he's lost a lot, he's grown up a lot, and, you know, I, I just, every time we started to do scenes with him, I'm like, you're older than we treat you in these scenes, like, yeah. he has to be older, and I think, like, he's becoming an adult more rapidly than I think I became an adult with him, and probably all did, like, he slept, that character slept with losses that, and yeah. had to grow up and in a way. They age so quick, yeah, like, he, he's gotta be, like, 75 years old. Yeah, he's a 75 year old. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my bones are creaking, but who's to die? Yeah. yeah. You know? And obviously, Curtis is 14 inside. He hasn't dealt with a lot of losses. No, he hasn't dealt with it. <laughs> Except for divorce. I mean, whatever. Everyone's got divorce. Everyone. Speaking of loss, divorce you know, party. actually, quite a bit of loss towards, you know, the end of um, the last season. And so, do you think that this will make Curtis more on board with the mission? Or will he start to think, hey, look at. Look how dangerous, look what keeps happening to everyone I love. Do I, does he back off? I got this. Yeah. <clears throat> so Curtis, I think, will not back down. I think that he will find love and he will dance along a beautiful rainbow into the abyss of night on evening. Yeah. While listening to the soundtrack from Flashdance, probably. Oh my god, thank god. Right? I mean, yeah, there's, there's only one way to ride there's it. There's only one way to ride it. <laughs> Flashdance. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he'll definitely, I, I think he'll. He'll, uh, he'll stick with it, but he might approach it from a different aspect, maybe. But, you know, I think the loss uh, will not deter him from doing the right thing. You know, I think if we opened our minds up, I think there's a lot of ways to ride 
There's true. <laughs> right, you can hop on the back. You can you you can do the the the, the horn. I was really what, hoping what do you call that? The unicorn, unicorn horn. The unicorn horn, really right? I was hoping yeah. someone was gonna go there because in my mind that looks painful. Yeah. And like some horn in the deep ends of the internet. I just hope it's a, a thick horn because I'm on because if I'm riding on it, you know, I'm, I'm holding I don't want to break off. I don't want to break off. Everything hurts today. This is painful. <laughs> That was no euphemism in that. Are you I was sure? just strictly talking about a unicorn horn. I, I if you rode on a unicorn's head, you would have grabbed the horn with your hands. This is a safe space, and right? And just, this is safe. This is okay. not, this is not gonna be How big is this unicorn you're riding? Uh, <laughs> I think, I think.